This is your laser machine. What we have to see here, you have to understand the things. First, we have to see this is the power of the machine. In the uh, further lectures, I will be telling you uh, which surgery is to be done at which watt. So this is the voltage. 6 watt, 8 watt, 10 watt, 15 watt. So they are basically two machines. Uh, 15 watt machine with 980 nanometer wavelength is there and another is the 1470. Right? And there is some machine which is a dual wavelength. You can see this is dual wavelength which machine has 980 also and 1470. You can operate with this machine at 980 nanometer wavelength also and 1470 nanometer wavelength. So, I told you for 980 it is mainly for pies and fissures but for, for if you want to do fistula, if you want to do pulmonary sinus and evla, varicose vein, then you need basically 1470 machine because I told you why that when uh, the, the depth of penetration and the lateral spread is only 1 to 2 millimeter as 1470 is absorbed 40 times more than the 980 in water. The tomo 4 for 1470 is water. That is why it is 1470 machine is used. So if you are planning to buy I suggest buy 47, you don't buy 980 because now 1920 has also come, uh, The uh, more than this machine has also come but that is not much used now. So this is the peak power voltage, I will tell you how much what and which and surgery will be done at which voltage in the uh, lectures. Then uh, this is, uh, these are the settings, this is the button for this. I told you two modes, which two modes I told you on operating? Continuous mode and pulse mode. Continuous mode may energy will be going in one way only. Pulse mode, energy will go, then it will stop for a pause, then it will go, then it will stop for a pause. So we have two modes, pulse modes and continuous mode. I will be telling you which surgery will be done in pulse mode and which surgery will be done in continuous mode. So these are the continuous mode, pulse mode, right? So when you are delivering the energy in the tissue, then you have to see the energy here. It has to be calculated. All the surgeries in which we have done are calculated on the energy basis. For piles, for example, in a one pile mass, we give 200 to 250 joules of energy per pile mass. So, in a single pile mass, you have to see here and ask the assistant to tell that it has been born on 250 or 250 joules. So, the total joules of the energy is calculated here. This is the T and O, this is the emission time. So, mainly three things you should know. One is the power, one is the continuous on pulse mode and second is how much voltage you are giving. Anything left? So, uh, sir, I will, I will like to Somebody has to stand there and he has to tell you that this much energy. I will show you in the OT yes. how we calculate this, right? And the, uh, you can, because this is a dual model, so you can select your wavelength from here. If you want to work on 1470, if you want to work on 980, or you want to work on the combination where simultaneously you can deliver 1470 as well as 980. Right? Yes. So this is a dual This is about the machine. Yes. There is a connection. Now we will go on to the fiber part. Right? So this is the wavelength. So this is the handle. Right? This is the piece, hand piece. So this. This handpiece goes inside the tissue with the fiber, right? So we have to uh, put the uh, fiber in the handpiece. This is the bare fiber. So this bare fiber, if I show you, this is the bare fiber. The beauty of this bare fiber is you can cut number of times. So this can be used in 250 to 300 cases. My bare fiber, single bare fiber, is working for last two years. It has not been finished now. So generally. It is recommended that piles should be done with the conical fiber, but the life of conical fiber is very less. So we are doing with the wear fiber also. So if you can see here, this is the outer covering and we have sloped it off from here and this is the internal covering, internal part. The fiber is inside. This is not the fiber. Fiber is inside. We have to chip the outer part. So you, if you touch it, touch it like this, you will understand that fiber is optional. There is a cutter for this. You can chip off the outer part. With the enemy, you can see. Right? You, you can chip off the outer part and then inner fiber will come out. So you can feel. I will show you in the outer, right? So you have to cut it accordingly. When you are doing the surgery, this becomes black and sharp, so you have to cut this surgery, right? Ha. 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 Now we have to insert each of right? Now you have to insert this inside this hand piece. And one thing you should know, how much it should be coming out, right? 
so ideally it should be one to two millimeter out only, not more than that. Can anybody tell me why I am why I am not keeping this much length or I am not keeping this much length? Any guesses? Can we keep this much length and we can do the surgery also? What is the problem? Why am I am I am telling you to only keep this much length, one or two millimeter? Why? Any practical reason? If you can think of, if I can, I can do surgery by this also. Why I am not asking you to keep it out five mm, six mm? Why? It is emitting the V shape that will emit that will emit from this side. So we can do this by also. Why we can do this also? Why we are asking you to keep only one to two mm, not five mm? Touch it. Exactly. This has happened with me once. What happens if you keep it more outside and you are in the tissue? Sometimes due to heat and trauma, it breaks. And if it get breaks, it breaks inside the tissue, and that would be a mess for you, right? So I have experienced in my one my, of my cases that that was a horrible experience. The tips got stuck in the tissue and you cannot find it out, right? So that is why I advocate it one to two millimeter only. Right? The chances of breaking is very less. And second thing, you don't have to move the fiber against the resistance. You have to move it very freely. If you move the against the the chances of breaking is there, and you should keep one to two millimeter. Right? Understood this point? So you have to insert it, keep one two millimeter outside, and then you have to make it taut. It should be very tight. It should not move because when you are moving according to heat, it could move slightly down. So it should be very tight. Right. Third thing, you have to feel the light is on. This the energy is not on. This is I told you the concept. What is this called? Anyone? I told you in the morning. What is this called? This laser light is called. Aiming beam. This is basically aiming beam. This is not a laser light. This is only the aiming beam, right? This is aiming beam, and when we she press this energy, when she will press this energy, then there is the then the energy will be delivered. That is all. So this is only the aiming beam. Aiming beam is used. Laser has no light. We just give a red light to it. This is aiming beam to show you the tissue direction. That's it. Laser has no light. Right? Second, this was the this was the bare light. Any guesses? What is this? Who can I talk to? Any guesses? What is this? No problem. Any guesses? What is this? For for patient, for patient. not for doctor, right? So these are your goggles for doctors, right? Doctor, you understood what is this? Eye cover. For what? For whom? Patient eye cover, right? Okay. These are. Our goggles, mm -hmm. which we are using, this facing the evening goggles, right? Fibers. This is the cutter. This is the cutter. Fiber is inserted inside this, and we cut it. This is your radial. This is radial. What I told you about the radial, somebody can tell me what, how it's an emit energy. ये बल्कि चारों तरफ गोल चक्कर घुमाएगा It was not 360 degree. It was straight, right? So, what is the disadvantage for surgeons in this fiber? It's not cartilage. It's not. So, its life is very tough. Okay, so we have to pay for it, right? Why? Because this cannot be cut. Reusable is, but its intensity goes down by down. So, it is not. It, ideally, they say 5 to 10 cases. We can use in many, uh, much more cases, but the intensity goes down by down. We cannot cut this. Fiber. And in bare fiber, the beauty is that cut, 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 and use and use and use. You can use multiple number of times. This is your radial fiber. Uh, what do you call that? This is the cutter. Radio band. This, this is my laser band. कैसे काटते हैं तो हम तो बताओ मतलब फाइबर काट के दिखा देते हैं कहाँ फाइबर काट के बेर वाली करते हैं इसको बताओ कैसे हाउ टू ये बताएंगे कैसे करते हैं 
open this. We will put this fiber. Right? So this is chipping of the fiber. Can you see it has been chipped out? Today chipped out. It's cut. It's cut. Cut me, cut me, chip, cut me, chip. Just go up, practice her own, pick up the other. I have to say, okay, this is a good line. Now I can cut. Machine.